There's a video I watched. There's two videos, funny enough, I came across, um, or three videos actually, in the last month or so, coming across around how Europe has lost its um, its innovation, like its tech. And there's, there's no European company in the top 10 or top 20 or top 10 tech companies. Yeah. Even though technology as we kind of like know it uh, evolved and came from the US, I mean, from Europe itself. Yeah. And the whole thing now is, uh, the whole uh, story I'm going to be talking about now is how uh, Europe lost the tech race, yeah. right? So now, again, imagine this, ne? Um, from inventing the World Wide Web, so WW, you know, the, the web as we know it. Um, and, I mean, these uh, Europe gave us uh, the foundations of science and education. Um, but when I mean, basically, the Industrial Revolution started in it Europe. It started in Europe, yeah. And we know technology, though, right now for the U.S., for China, or for Asia, rather than Europe. And you'd wonder, but like, and people don't realize this, but I mean, what is the, what is the biggest European tech company that you even know of, right? Mm. I can already tell you which one it is. I think it's, it's, okay, it's not the biggest, but one of the well-known is Spotify. Mm. But even then, like... You could you you didn't even think yeah. that Spotify is in a, a European, European company. You know what I mean? So is Lyft not also European? Lyft is, yeah. but I mean Lyft is like small yeah. waters compared to yeah. like Uber yeah. and those kind of guys. No, but I, I hear your message. Yes. Yeah. So um, now the whole thing, and again talking about Lyft, and we'll we'll get into it. But things like Lyft, they didn't innovate; they just copied what yeah. was already there. Uber was like the pioneer, right? And they just came.